Salutes the last of her kind, 100-year-old Dorothy Davis laid to rest in Ohio with full military honors. She was the last survivor of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps from World War II. It was established in May of 1942, and the WAC, or WAAC, played a crucial part in the war effort. One of the few African Americans in the program, Davis's daughter, says her mother faced discrimination but was never deterred. My mother reveled and loved her military service. She said it was the best time of her life. She felt that maybe this is a change for other women coming behind me. Now the WAC was only around for a year. In 1943, it became the Women's Army Corps. The WAC was disbanded in 1978. Just want to make a quick correction here. The Virginia Citizens Defense League is planning a rally in Richmond on January 20th. I misspoke there, so no quick correction. All right, let's talk about what's happening with the weather out the side because, you know, this isn't, when you put it in perspective with what's going on around the country, this isn't that bad. It's just we'll a little it. dreary. Yes, and, and just wait. Yes. Yes. We're going to check in <laughs> with you tomorrow here. morning, okay. and then again on Thursday morning as you're going to get Bottom's outside. Bottom's dropping out on us? It's going to be cold, right. cold, cold, windy cold. We're so We can handle it. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're moving our way closer to the weekend, uh, Christmas, almost at Thanksgiving there. This is what it looks like over toward uh, the Watergate, or from the Watergate, toward Georgetown Harbor. Still have a little bit of uh, rain on the lens. Pavement is still wet on 270 north and southbound. Of course, the rush hour traffic northbound on the left-hand side of your screen, quieter southbound traffic. Here's what's left of the rain showers that are moving through the area. Head down to Oxon Hill over towards Suitland and College Park. Also looking at Springfield Mixing Bowl with wet weather right now but head just off toward the west over to city of Fairfax and to Reston, Manassas. You are now drying out, and there's not a whole lot more in terms of wet weather behind this once it moves on out of here. In fact, our skies are going to begin to clear. Winds are going to kick up, and those wind chills are going to kick in. Take a look at these wind chill factors out there right now. 24, that's what it feels like in Elkins, West Virginia. Compare that to 32 at Reagan National, 37 in Richmond, and just two hours ago, it felt like 52 degrees degrees there. So big changes are on the way. Feels like temperatures through this evening. If you're doing shopping or going out to eat, we'll drop down to the upper 20s to around 30. And our future cast shows our skies beginning to clear, at least inside and around the Capitol Beltway by about 8 30, 9 o'clock tonight. And then everyone clears on out by early tomorrow morning. And if you're getting up extra early, you're going to want to bundle up. Actual air temperatures tomorrow, upper 20s to lower to middle 30s. We'll see highs tomorrow that will only make it into the lower 40s, but at least we're going to have a good amount of sunshine so grab the sunglasses along with a warm jacket as you head out the door come early tomorrow morning here's our future cast as we head through tomorrow afternoon outdoor recess for the kids it's going to feel like the upper 20s inside the beltway then a reinforcing shot of colder air arrives tomorrow evening and take a look how the temperatures dip as we move into early thursday morning this model here has wind chill factors in the single digits and lower to middle teens at least early on those winds will begin to diminish and and then our temperatures will slowly begin to warm. Looking ahead to the upcoming weekend, a busy shopping weekend for many of you. Saturday and Sunday, both dry. Temperatures middle to upper 40s for daytime high. Seven day outlook early next week. We're in the lower 50s come Monday and then Tuesday is Christmas Eve. We're planning on a daytime high of 53 degrees. Always a good time to download your Stormwatch 7 weather app. A fantastic tool to have, especially with winter approaching. Now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. So, a very Merry Strassmas to everyone, and you'll have it for the next seven years here in D.C. Steven Strasberg officially signing that mega deal. Seven years, 245 million bucks. So, he's here to stay. Today, the team officially announced that Strauss is staying put. Some thought they'd never see this guy in a Nationals uniform again after he opted out the last four years of his previous deal. But he's back for good, and he's a National for life now. I'm so fortunate to, you know, have the the backing of the team, the ownership, and they've made it very clear that they want me to be a part of this organization. Throughout the course of my career, there's been ups and downs, but they've supported me throughout it all. And, um, you know, I think that's that's hard to come by in the in this game. All right, in football, last day of minicamp for D.C.'s newest team, the D.C. Defenders. Next for them is training camp, and then they open up the season February 8th at Audi Field. You can see that game right here on ABC7. As for minicamp...